everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing my recipe with you guys for milk fudge and you will need a few simple ingredients starting with some sugar, some vanilla extract, butter, some evaporated milk, some sweetened condensed milk, some whole milk, regular whole milk, and I have my pan here set up with some parchment paper. This will make it easier for when I want to remove my fudge from the pan. So let's get started with this recipe. So to get started, we'll start by adding our sugar and our milk to the pan. And it's on high heat. I will now begin to stir this until my sugar dissolves. You guys, this recipe you have to do a lot of stirring. Your arm will be in pain by the end of this, but it's all worth it. So now that the sugar has dissolved, we will allow this to come up to a boil. So now that it's up to a boil, we will turn our stove down to low and continue stirring. You have to stir constantly to prevent sticking and burning. So now that my stove is on low heat and the boiling has subsided, you can give your arm a little rest and you will still need to stir at intervals but this needs to thicken up. It needs to come to a very very thick consist consistency. So now it's beginning to thicken up as you can see and we will add the vanilla extract or essence as you may call it and we will stir, continue the stirring process. This is a lot of stirring guys but just make sure that you keep stirring and scraping the edges of your pot so nothing sticks to it. It's a lot of stirring. Continue your stirring. <laughs> so now we'll go in with the butter and we will continue stirring. So 
So this is the part where I'll turn my heat off and I will remove the fudge from the stove. So this is the consistency you need before you turn your stove off and remove it from the heat. But it's not done yet, you have to continue stirring. The, the more you stir, the thicker it will get and you will have to put some muscle into the stirring this time because the thicker it gets the harder it becomes to stir so you you know you gotta put some muscle into that stirring so now that it's off the stove you will continue to stir it this has to thicken up some more and you see the shiny color it has right now you have to stir it until it changes from a shiny color to a matte kind of look. But I'll show you guys as we go along. So now it changes color from being shiny to matte. So this is the color I was talking about. When you see it looks matte like this, that's when it's ready. Now you can go ahead and set your fudge in whatever bowl, container, or pan you wanna put it in. And I will now go ahead and transfer this into my baking pan. So now that it's all in my baking pan, I'm going to go ahead and smooth it out at the top with a spatula. And I will let this cool off and set. And then I'll be back to show you guys how I will cut it and the texture that it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the fudge from the pan. Did you see how nice that came out? With no problem. It, you just lifted out the pan because the parchment paper was under there. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut it so you guys can see. See how soft that is? Look how my knife just glides through there. This is so delicious, you guys. So milky and soft. This is not the hard fudge. This is a very soft fudge. Like if you want a harder texture, you just have to add some more sugar in your fudge. I did not want a very sweet, sweet, overly sweet fudge. So I use less sugar, but you can use more sugar in yours. You see how soft it is? I will leave all the ingredients and measurements down in the description box. Okay guys, so this is the finished product of my milk fudge. If you guys enjoy this video, you can give this recipe a try. You can hit that like button, share and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.